Okay, this is my mini PC for Android. It's an MK802. Uh, this is the first generation. Um, this is a 1 gig. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, flash the ROM on it. Uh, there's a lot of people that I've seen online saying that they can't get uh, ready suit to work, uh, live suit to work. And um, I am going to show you how I did it. I played around for a while and I had lots of problems, but then I found out the perfect technique for the 64-bit drivers uh, to work on Windows 7. So, first things first is um, installing the drivers. So I've downloaded the newest version of LiveSuit, and this is uh, LiveSuit 107. And what I'm going to do is you're going to come down here and there's going to be, right there it says Live. Life uh, Suit Pack 107.exe. You're gonna go ahead and open that up, and you're gonna go ahead and go through this process here. And when it comes to this, as Windows can't verify the publisher, you're gonna say install this driver software anyway. Okay, and that should be good. Now I've also opened Task Manager or Device Manager over here um, too. So this I'm gonna have to have this open. This is gonna help me verify that everything's installed correctly. As you can see, there's right there it is USB device. That's what I'm looking right there with the little orange, uh, yellow, orange triangle on it. So, what I'm going to do now is I actually am going to go ahead and um, hook up my device. And this is this is where it gets tricky. First things first, make sure that you do not have the power plugged into your device. So, I've got the power cord right here. I'm going to have it close by though because I will need it. And then the other thing you're going to need is a paper clip. So I've got a little paper clip right here. Right down here, you got two holes. This top one here is the LED. This bottom one is the reset. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push the re push the reset in and hold it. I'm going to take my USB cable that's plugged into my computer and plug it in now. Now it should install some drivers there it is you see now I have two of those right there I have the one that has the orange triangle and the one that doesn't so I'm going to uninstall the one with the orange triangle now And make sure you do not, don't click delete the driver software. You want to leave that the driver software on there. You're just deleting this one. Okay. So now, see I have that one there. Okay, this is the second thing we do now. Now what we do is I'm going to actually... Mouse stop working. Um, I don't know why the mouse stopped working, but it stopped working for a second. It's working now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start up um, Live Suit, and I'm going to do that by opening the Live Suit EXE. Okay, so you're going to say yes to this. This is going to pop up, and here's the here's the thing you want to do. You want to click no here. Do not when it's, it's welcoming you to the wizard. Say no. Do not click yes. I found out if you click yes, then this doesn't work. All right. And also select your package that you want to install. I'm actually going to recover back to the actually no, I don't want to recover the original. I want to go to um, maybe I don't have it on here right now. Okay, so we'll just recover back to the original right now. Okay, so you want to go ahead and select your package, your image that you're going to install. All right, now what do I do is I plug in the power, like so, and then I'm going to push in on the reset button. I'm going to pull out the USB cable, wait for about three to four seconds, and I'm going to plug it back in and then release. And then if everything goes correctly, we get this message right here. It says live suit. And then uh, wants to know if you want a man mandatory uh, format, force format, 
and all that. So now this has actually got it working. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. It says, uh, are you sure you want to do the format? I'm going to say yes again. And then the process starts. And it takes it takes a little while to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the, it'll take up to two minutes sometimes. I'm going to pause it real quick. Okay, it's finished uh, installing. I get this little message box that pops up, but there's actually nothing in it. I don't know why that is. Um, so all I'm going to do is click OK. And then uh, what you do next is I unplug the power cable first. I don't know if this matters, but this is just how I did it. We'll just keep doing it the same way. Then I unplug the USB. And then um, I've got my HDMI cable running to the back of my TV close by here. So let me go ahead and hook that up. Just gonna plug that HDMI cable to the device. And then you're gonna hook your power back up. Um, I think the reason why I, I the unplugging the power is important because it kind of forces your device to go ahead and restart. Okay, so I plug the power in. And I am going to turn to the appropriate HDMI channel. And we should see it boot up here. And then it's booting up Android. Now the first time it can take a little while to boot up. But um, so once again I'm going to pause this for a second until it finishes booting. Okay it's back up. And as you can see that it's in Chinese. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, since I've already got this video going, I will show you how to turn it back to English real quick for the people that may not know how to do this. Okay, uh, you're going to click OK here first, or what was OK. Give it a second. I know the first time it boots up, it's a little slow on responding Looks like it gave me some sort of error message there. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to come down here to settings. Seems like the video is still, my TV is still adjusting to the video here. Okay. Settings, and then we're going to go, this is actually your settings down here. You're going to look for this little icon right here, is what you're looking for. Okay. Now, you're going to scroll down the side here, and you're looking for the icon. That's an A right there. So you're going to click that. And then, the very top item. Click that. And then you're going to find English if you want English or whatever language you're looking for and there you go so what I usually do now after I got this setting set is uh, go ahead and restart the device um, and then um, then boot it back up again and you should be good to go so anyways that's how I flash the ROM on the MK802 I hope this helps some people that are having problems with it um, once again, uh, post your comments or if you have any suggestions that may make it easier, um, will be well appreciated. Thank you.